How's it going, peeps? It is that time for the Hell in a Cell 2013 prediction game video. In the background is my simulation of the main event for Hell in a Cell, the WWE Championship matchup for the vacant title. It's going to be Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton with Shawn Michaels as the special guest referee inside Hell in a Cell. It is the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. And Hell in a Cell is, is pretty interesting. Um, not just the pay-per-view, but the actual matchup itself, Hell in a Cell. Where, you know, we, you might have pay-per-views that are kind of like Hell in a Cell, like, you know, specific, like TLC, you know, where you, you can expect a tables match, a chairs match, you know, and a uh, ladder match or TLC match. And uh, you've also got, what else you got? You've got TLC, you've got Extreme Rules where you can expect some Extreme Rules matches. But Hell in the Cell is usually where a lot of feuds end. Uh, when two superstars have been feuding for a while, and then they either face off inside Hell in the Cell at some other pay-per-view, or actually in the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view, that's usually their last matchup in the feud. Uh, for that period of time, for that time, and uh, this is why this might just be the the end of the Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan feud for for a while after uh, after Sunday, and, and not just this, but also we've this year we've got two Hell in a Cell matches. Last year there was only one Hell in a Cell match, which was CM Punk versus Ryback for the WWE Championship. And the funny thing is, we're having this matchup once again this year at Hell in a Cell. Same pay-per-view, same match type this year. I mean, kind of. It's it's still CM Punk versus Ryback. The difference is, though, CM Punk is a heel. Ryback's a face. I mean, my bad. Uh, Ryback is the heel. CM Punk's the face. And Paul Heyman is in Ryback's corner, not just as a manager, but he's in Ryback's corner in the actual matchup. It's a handicap match. Ryback and Paul Heyman versus CM Punk. This second or the the uh, yeah the second Hell in a Cell match between CM Punk and Ryback, and also the second or you know the 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 other Hell in a Cell match we're gonna see this Sunday. You know on top of Daniel Bryan versus Randy, and Paul the Paul Heyman CM Punk feud could very well end at Hell in a Cell, but at the same time, I could see it even continuing after Hell in a Cell. Uh, I know I just stated that you know, Hell in a Cell is in interesting because usually it's the end of feuds, but in this case, I'm not sure. I mean, it could very well end this Sunday, but at the same time, I could see it maybe g going on until Survivor Series. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to give you guys my predictions and tell you if I think it's going to end at Hell in a Cell, but will it actually end at Hell in a Cell? We'll, we'll have to wait and see, you know, we'll have to wait uh, for Sunday, and also another big matchup on the card that is not inside Hell in a Cell, but it's a pretty big matchup, it's John Cena's return, it's for the World Heavyweight Championship, Alberto Del Rio defending the title against John Cena. So anyways... Let's not waste any more time, and let's get down to the predictions. There's seven matches, actually, on the Hell in a Cell card. I think that's, like, one match or two matches short of uh, Battleground. I think Battleground, they had, like, eight or nine matches. So, let's get this started. First matchup, let's start it off with the kickoff, of course. It is the Intercontinental Championship matchup. Curtis Axel defending his championship against Big E Langston, who just recently turn face on um, on SmackDown and uh, took down Ka Axel and helped pretty much CM Punk take out the you know, Paul Heyman guys and then teamed up with Paul Heyman in a tag team match to uh, defeat Curtis Axel and Ryback. He got the title shot by pinning Curtis Axel in that matchup. So as far as who I think is going to win this matchup, initially when it was first announced I was like oh looks like you know, we might be crowning, uh, they might crown a new Intercontinental Champion. But that's like right at, right after they announced the matchup, you know, so I didn't do too much thinking. And then I thought about it a little bit, uh, and I, I can't see, uh, can't see Curtis Axel losing the IC Championship 
at this point in time. So, but but at the same time, I can't see Biggie Langston losing this matchup. So what happens? You know, I can't see Curtis Axel losing the championship. Can't see Biggie Langston losing the matchup. I'm thinking it's gonna be a disqualification or a countout in the favor of Biggie Langston. So pretty much, I think Curtis Axel is either going to get himself disqualified or maybe Ryback is gonna help him out and thus Curtis Axel get disqualified but of course retains the championship or Curtis Axel just you know just doesn't want any of Biggie Langston gets out of the ring and just leaves gets himself counted out those are like the two uh top scenarios I see taking place if Biggie Langston wins uh I do think he's gonna win, like I said, but I th I don't think he's gonna win the championship. And if Biggie Langston happens to lose, then I, I can see it happening by via roll up or something like that, like a like a surprise. Maybe Paul Heyman distracts Biggie Langston, Curtis Axel rolls him up, and uh, that's pretty much it. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna go with Biggie Langston as my prediction. I think he's gonna win this matchup. And then after that, you've got the Divas Championship matchup. This is actually a rematch. From Battleground, it is AJ Lee defending her championship against Brie Bella. And uh, this one. Um, I know I said in the Battleground prediction game video that I didn't think Brie Bella was going to win the championship at Battleground. But I did state that I could see her winning that championship down the line and rematch or something like that. But, you know, after what's, uh, what's happened, you know, uh, the matches they've had. On I think Raw or you know she they they they've had a couple uh, non-title matches and uh, Brie Bella won an, a non-title match recently against AJ. I just think I think AJ Lee's gonna retain here. I think AJ is going to retain the championship and then move on to another feud against another total diva. But I will say that I'm not ruling out a Brie Bella vi victory here. I could still see Brie Bella pulling off the victory, winning the Divas Championship this Sunday. I just think that AJ has the bigger chance of retaining her championship and winning the matchup. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to go with AJ. And then, you've got the Tag Team Championship matchup. The new Tag Team Champions, the Rhodes Brothers, Cody Rhodes, and Goldust defending the titles against Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins of the Shields and the Usos. I'm looking forward to this. This should be a great matchup. The uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Shield match, uh, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, when they won the tag team title match on Raw, that was a great matchup, great tag team match, and we all know the Usos also, they're a great tag team, this has like all the makings, this has, this should be a, like a great matchup, I'm really expecting good things out of this matchup, and uh, as far as who I think is going to win this match, I I'm going with Cody Rhodes and Goldust, I'm... Pretty sure they're going, they're going to hold on to those championships for a while. I don't see them losing it back to the Shield. And I don't see the Usos becoming tag team champions for the first time at Hell in a Cell. Against, or, you know, taking those titles away from Goldust and Cody Rhodes. And then moving on, you've got another tag team matchup. Except this one is just, you know, two on two. And it's, it's not a triple threat tag team matchup. It is the Los Matadores versus the Real Americans and Tony Cesaro and Jack Swagger. This one was pretty easy to predict. Uh, really didn't do any thinking at all. I just, I was like, alright, this team's gonna win. And that was pretty much it. Uh, yeah, my prediction for this matchup is the Los Matadores. I definitely think they're going to win this matchup. I uh, highly doubt that the Real Americans win this matchup. And uh, then you've got the uh, Hell in a Cell match, CM Punk versus Ryback and Paul Heyman, a handicap Hell in a Cell match. And this one, just like just like Battleground, Battleground, I was torn between Ryback and CM Punk. I was like, damn it, who, who wins? You know, I wasn't sure. I took a long time to predict who was gonna win the matchup. I, I kept going back and forth, not knowing who to pick, you know, who to side with, and uh, this it's the same thing here, uh, I'm like, does CM Punk win, or does Ryback and Paul Heyman win this matchup, 
This is... On this card, this was the hardest match to predict for me. Just like at Battleground, where CM Punk versus Ryback was the hardest match to predict for me. Battleground, I picked Ryback as a winner. I ended up being wrong. And this time, I've decided to go with CM Punk. So, we'll see what happens this Sunday. Anyways... After that, you've got the World Heavyweight Championship matchup. Alberto Del Rio defending his title against a returning John Cena. My pick for that match is John Cena. And then for the main event, the WWE Championship match inside Hell in a Cell, Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton with Shawn Michaels as the special guest referee. My pick for this matchup, I'm going to go with Randy Orton winning this matchup and becoming the new WWE Champion. So that is it for my predictions for Hell in a Cell. That's all for you guys to so give me your predictions in the comment section below. And I'll list all the matches in the description box so you guys can easily give me your predictions. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can click that like button down below. Meta RKO. I'd really appreciate the like if you enjoyed the video. And with that said, I'm out guys. See ya.